Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. In this video, we're going to learn how to create bitlinks for new Dropbox files using Bitly. So I am an owner of a business and I upload some important documents, files or images in my Dropbox folder. So here my objective is that, that as soon as I'm going to add a new file or an image in my Dropbox folder, automatically a bitlink should be created with the help of Bitly of the file that we have uploaded in our Dropbox folder. And as soon as a bitlink is going to be created with the help of bitly automatically a record of the bitlink the long url and the title of the image or the file should be created in our google sheets for that what we are going to do is we're going to create an automation between all these applications with the help of pabli connect so if you want to learn how to do this automation then let me take you all to my screen in this video we're going to learn how to create bitlinks for new dropbox files with bitly so i am an owner of a business and i upload important files or images in my dropbox so my objective is that that as soon as i'm going to upload any file or an image in my dropbox automatically the url of that image or a file should be created into a bit link with the help of bitly and as soon as a bit link is created automatically the details of the image or a file should be recorded in my google sheets with the long url as well as the bit link for that what we are going to do is we're going to simply create an automation between dropbox bitly and Google Sheets with the help of Pabli Connect. So on the screen you can see the website of Pabli Connect that is pabli.com slash connect. After browsing this website we need to sign in to our Pabli Connect account. But if you're a new user, you can sign up for free and get 100 free tasks every month. So as I'm an existing user, I'm going to sign in to my Pabli Connect account. After signing in, you can see the all Pabli apps window in front of you in which you can see the five applications of Pabli. From which we are going to select Pabli Connect by clicking on Access Now. Then Pabli Connect dashboard is going to appear in front of you. In order to start an automation process in Pabli Connect, we need to create a workflow. For that, we click on the top right corner button right over here that says create workflow. A new dialog box is then going to appear in front of you which is asking for a workflow name. So I'm going to give a name to my workflow as create bitlinks for new Dropbox files using bitly. So this is the name that I want to give to my workflow. If you want, you can give a name to your workflow as per your requirement. Okay. Next, it is asking for us to select a folder. So on the left side of my screen, you can see I've created multiple folders in my Pabli Connect account. You can create your own folder by clicking on this plus button right over here. Okay. So as I've created so many folders in my Pabli Connect account from which I'm going to select a specific folder in which I want to save this workflow in. And how are we going to select the folder by clicking on this drop down arrow. So these are the folders that I've created in my Pabli Connect account from which I'm going to select Pitly Automations as the folder I want to save this workflow in. After giving a name to our workflow and selecting the folder, we're going to click on create in order to create a workflow. A workflow has been created in the name of create bitlinks for new Dropbox files using bitly and there are two windows in front of you. One over here says trigger, other over here says action. Trigger and action are the two most important steps of our automation process because our process depends on these two concepts. Over here trigger says when this happens an action says do this. That means our action is a response towards our trigger. In an automation process there can be only one trigger step but multiple action steps. So firstly what we're going to do is we're going to set up our trigger application by click on this R right over here. And for the trigger application, we are going to select it as Dropbox. So I'm going to select my trigger application as Dropbox. And for the trigger event, I'm going to select it as New File. We are selecting our trigger application as Dropbox and the trigger event as new file because as soon as I'm going to upload any file in my Dropbox, this is the folder that I've created in my Dropbox in the name of important files. As soon as I'm going to upload any files in this folder in my Dropbox account, automatically Pabli Connect is going to capture the response. But if you're not going to receive the response instantly, then don't worry because as over here, you can see it says 10 minutes. This is the pulling duration right over here as Dropbox is a pulling based application. That means in every 10 minutes, whenever a new data is collected with Dropbox automatically in this 10 minute duration, Dropbox is going to send the new data to Pabli Connect. Okay. So if you want to make any changes in this duration right over here, then you can contact us on our Pabli forum. Okay. So after setting your trigger application and the event, we're going to click on connect. In order to connect Dropbox with Pabli Connect, then a new window is going to appear on which you have to click on add new connection. But if you have an existing connection, you can select this option. After that, we're going to click on connect with Dropbox. As you can see that we successfully authorized Dropbox with Pabli Connect. After authorizing, over here it is asking for the folder path and by following the steps given here below, we are going to have the access of the folder path. Firstly, we are going to open the folder that we have created in our Dropbox. So as you can see, this is the folder that I have created right over here. And this is the name of my folder that is important files right over here. So what will be my folder path right over here? It is going to be slash 
slash important files because as over you can see sample folder arrow new folder should be written as slash folder slash new folder but as i just have a single folder in my dropbox in the name of important files right over here that is why i've written it as slash important files okay next over here before clicking on save and send test request what we are going to do is we are going to upload a new file in our dropbox folder that we have created and then we're going to click on save and send test request so that we can check whether public and it captures the response of the file that we are going to upload in our dropbox folder or not for that i'm going to open a dropbox folder so this is my dropbox folder right over here and to upload a file you have to click on upload or drop after that we're going to select file right over here then we're going to select a random file and then we're going to open the file in our dropbox right over here as you can see that over here an image is uploaded in our dropbox folder and this is the image right over here in the name of mountains so this is the dummy image that i'm uploading in my dropbox okay so this is the image that i've uploaded in my dropbox right over here so now as i've uploaded the image right over here in my dropbox folder then i'm going to click on save and send test request as soon as you're going to click on save and send test request the response is going to be received and the response that we have received has the details of the file that we have uploaded in our dropbox account it has the url of the image as you can see right over here and the name of the image is going to be mountains.jpg with all the other details so this means that we successfully set up our trigger step that is dropbox new file right over here so after setting up our trigger step we want that whenever a new file is uploaded in our dropbox automatically the long url of that file should be converted into a bit link so what we are going to do is we are going to create a bit link and for that we are going to set up our action step and for the action application over here i am going to select it as bitly so i am going to select my action application as bitly and for the action event i am going to select it as create bit link after that, I'm going to click on connect in order to connect Bitly with Pabli Connect. A new window is going to appear on which you have to click on add new connection. But if you want, you can select an existing connection right over here. After that, we're going to click on connect with Bitly. Over here, a new window is going to appear which is asking for a permission. I'm going to click on allow as a safe process and my data is perfectly safe with Bitly. So I'm going to click on allow. As you can see that we successfully authorized Bitly with Pabli Connect. After authorizing, firstly it is asking for the group. So for the group, I'm going to select the group that I've created in my Bitly account. And next over here, it is asking for the long URL. Which URL do we want to convert into a bit link? For the URL right over here, what we're going to do is we are going to map the data. Mapping means inserting data from the previous step. So we're going to insert the data from the previous step in this automation workflow. As in the previous step, we have received the long URL that we want to convert into a bit link. So how are we going to map the data? As soon as we're going to click on this field over here, it says Dropbox new file. As you can see over here, it says Dropbox new file. So this was the previous step of our automation workflow. If I'm going to click on this arrow, this was the response that was captured in our previous step. As over here, it is asking for the URL. I'm going to the long URL that we want to convert into a bit link. So this is the URL right over here okay next it is asking for the title of the bit link the title that we want to give to a bit link so i want the title of the bit link to be the title of my image we're going to map the date of the name of our image as you can see this is the name i'm going to map the date of the bit link right over here next it is asking for the domain for the domain in the help desk we have received a domain for an example right over here. so i'm going to copy this domain from here and i'm going to paste the domain right over here so as i filled in all the details i'm going to click on save and send test request after clicking on save and send test request, the response is going to be received and in the response we have received a link as you can see right over here. So this is a bit link right over here. So if I'm going to copy this bit link from this response and I'm going to open this bit link in a new tab right over here. So you can see as I've copied the bit link that we have created with the help of bit.ly with Pabli Connect. This is the same image that we have uploaded in our Dropbox as you can see right over here. So this is the same image. So this means that we successfully created a bit link with the help of the URL that we have received in our previous step. So as we have successfully created a bit link, our objective was that as soon as a bit link is going to be created, we need to keep a record of the bit link, the long URL as well as the image title or the file title in our Google Sheets. So I've created a spreadsheet with the help of Google Sheets in the name of dropbox files slash images bit links this is the spreadsheet that i've created right over here and i want to create a record of the image that i'm going to upload in my dropbox with the image title long url as well as the bit links in this spreadsheet so what we're going to do is we are going to add another action step to this workflow right over here clicking on this plus button and for the action application over here, I'm going to select it as Google Sheets. So I'm going to select my action application as Google Sheets. And for the action event, I'm going to select it as Add New Row. We are selecting our action event as Add New Row because we want to create a record in this spreadsheet right over here. That is why for the action event, we have selected as Add New Row. After that, we're going to click on Connect in order to connect Google Sheets with Pabli Connect. A new window is going to appear on which you have to click on Add New Connection. But if you want, you can select the existing connection, okay? After that, we're going to click on Sign In with Google. Then a new window is going to appear which is asking for a permission. I'm going to click on allow as a safe process and my data is perfectly safe with Pabli Connect. So I'm going to click on allow. 
As you can see that we successfully authorized Google Sheets with Babli Connect. After authorizing, firstly over here it is asking for us to select a spreadsheet. So I've created a spreadsheet in the name of Dropbox file slash images bit links. So for the spreadsheet right over here, we're going to select the spreadsheet on which we want to create a record. After selecting the spreadsheet, it is asking for us to select a sheet. So I've created a single sheet in the name of sheet one right over here. So for the sheet, we're going to select it as sheet one. After selecting the spreadsheet and the sheet over here, it is asking for the file slash image title, long URL and the bit links. So as you can see in the spreadsheet that I've created, I've created three fields in the name of file slash image title, long URL and the bit links. So these are the same fields that I've created in my spreadsheet as you can see right over here. So for the fields right over here, what we're going to do is we are going to map the data. So firstly, it is asking for the file slash image title. We're going to map the name of the image that we have uploaded in our Dropbox folder. OK, so I've mapped the data right over here. So as I map the data right over here, what happens is the data has now become dynamic. That means whenever a new response is going to be captured in our previous step, automatically the data right over here is going to be updated. OK, over here next, it is asking for the long URL we're going to map the data of the long URL right over here and for the bit link we're going to map the data of the bit link that has been created with the help of bitly so as I filled in all the details I'm going to click on save and send test request as soon as I'm going to click on save and send test request the response is going to be received and the response that we have received is a positive response we are going to check whether in our spreadsheet that we have created with the help of Google Sheets the data is for that I'm going to open my spreadsheet that I've created and yes, as you can see right over here, a record of the image that we have uploaded in our Dropbox is successfully created in our Google Sheets with the name of the image as mountains.jpg with the long URL as well as the bit link that we have created. Okay, so this means that we successfully created an automation between Dropbox, Bitly and Google Sheets with the help of Babli Connect. But now for all of you guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload another image in my Dropbox and I'm going to check whether the bit link of that image is created with the help of Bitly and a record of that image is created created in our Google Sheets or not. For that, I'm going to open my Dropbox folder. So as you can see, this is my folder that I've created in my Dropbox account. So this is the folder that I've created in my Dropbox account and I'm going to upload another image in this folder. For that, click on upload or drop, then click on file right over here. Select a random file and open the file in this folder right over here. As you can see that I've successfully uploaded an another image in this folder in the name of nature image. Okay, so this means that we uploaded another file in this folder right over here. So now after 10 minutes, I'm going to check whether the record of this image with the long URL and the bit link is created in our Google Sheets or not. Because as I've already told you that Dropbox is a pulling based application that means in 10 minutes it is going to send the new data to Pabli Connect. So we have to wait for 10 minutes. So I'm going to wait for 10 minutes. So now after 10 minutes, as I've waited for 10 minutes, I'm going to open my spreadsheet that I've created with the help of Google Sheets. And I'm going to check whether the details of this image that we have uploaded in our Dropbox folder successfully recorded in our Google Sheets with the bit link or not. For that, I'm going to open my spreadsheet that I've created. And yes, as you can see right over here, a record of the image that we have uploaded in our Dropbox folder is successfully created in our Google Sheets. So the name of the image as nature image dot jpg with the long url of the image as well as the bit link so this is the bit link i'm going to copy this bit link from here and i'm going to open this bit link in a new tab right over here so as you can see, this is the same image that we have uploaded in our Dropbox folder, as you can see right over here. So this means that we successfully created a bit link of the long URL that was uploaded of this image in our Dropbox folder. So this means that we successfully created an automation between Dropbox, Bitly and Google Sheets with the help of Pabli Connect. So now to sum up till now what we have done, I am an owner of a business and I upload my important files or images in my Dropbox folder. So my objective is that, that as soon as I'm going to upload a new file or an image in my Dropbox box folder automatically a bit link of that file or an image url should be created with the help of bitly and as soon as a bit link is created with the help of bitly automatically a record of the image title the long url as well as the bit link should be created in my google sheets for that what we have done is we have created an automation between all of these applications with the help of Babli connect and this is how we create an automation between all these applications so if you like this video please do subscribe to our channel hit on the like button comment down below if you have any questions or doubts and please share this video. Not just with these applications, you can create automation with the help of Pabli Connect between multiple applications. If you have any doubts, you can send us an email on support at the rate pabli.com. If you have any queries, you can ask your queries on forum.pabli.com. If you have any queries regarding the pricing of Pabli Connect, then you can check out this link. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel, hit on the like button, comment down below if you have any questions and doubts and please share this video and thank you for watching.